A suspected killer is off the streets. The LAPD just announced an arrest and the murder of an officer's mother. CBS News scathing report was released today on how Penn State handled accusations of child sex abuse against former assistant football coach Jerry Sandusky decades ago. It says university leaders cared more about the school's reputation than the victims. CBS 2's Randall Pinkston has more. Well, we've all heard it before. Don't leave your children in a hot car. And yet, it still happens. CBS 2's Joy Benedict was there when police tried to get the word out again. We've got some breaking news to tell you about, and it's really good news. The missing elderly couple from Alhambra, we told you about at the beginning of the newscast, has been found safe. The details are just coming into our newsroom right now. We do know that authorities are working on reuniting with, uh, reuniting them rather with their family. We will, of course, have much more for you just ahead on CBS 2 News at 6 o'clock. Certainly good news. That's great news. Yeah. Getting young minds excited about science. Here at 5 o'clock, I'm Sharon Tay. CBS 2 News at 6 o'clock starts right now. Good evening, I'm Rick Garcia. And I'm Sharon Tay. Flash flood watches up for our hills, or foothills rather, mountains and deserts right now. Dangerous thunderstorms could move in overnight. We're going to take you right to KCAL 9's meteorologist Evelyn Taft. Ev? Hey there. Sarai, thank you. We have more developing news to tell you about. Family and friends are holding a vigil for 14-year-old Unique Russell. She died on the 4th of July when someone opened fire on a group of people outside her grandmother's home. KCAL 9's Juan Fernandez is there's word tonight that a criminal investigation has been going on for months now into the financial crisis in the city of San Bernardino. If vo it voted to enter bankruptcy this week, the San Bernardino PD, sheriff, and DA confirming tonight they've quietly been looking into claims that the city's books were falsified and have launched, quote, an investigation. In tonight's Night on Entertainment, escape the heat by icing off with a movie. And skip the popcorn for a little American pie. The insider's Kevin Frazier explains. A $50,000 reward is being offered to find whomever killed a father of seven in mid-city L.A. It's a Glendora doctor is under arrest tonight. Police say he acted like a petty drug dealer illegally selling prescription drugs for cash. KCAL 9's Randy Page spoke to him as he was led away in handcuffs. A local man has developed a way to offer comfort to those who've lost a loved one. As KCAL 9's Louisa Hodge explains, he helps those who have passed send a letter from heaven. A kitten makes an incredible journey, a trip across the ocean in a shipping container from China. Just yeah, weather-wise in San Diego, it, it, they, they have their tropical they have moments, their moments down there, but we're getting it like all day long today. Like bad. Yeah. We've yeah. been talking about it all day long. We've been comparing this, uh, the humidity here, with Miami or other parts of Florida kind of humidity. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Exactly. They're okay. Thank you, Stacy. A reward tonight for information on the killer of a teenage girl shot to death outside her grandmother's home on the 4th of July. This, on the same night, the family of a 14-year-old, Unique Russell, held a vigil for her. KKL 9's Juan Fernandez is live with our other big story tonight. The best of all possible news here. An elderly couple has been found safe and sound. They disappeared yesterday while on a shopping trip to... If you're a parent, it's the phone call you dread. Your child's caretaker calling to tell you your child has been injured. Tonight, I have one family's tragic journey to find out exactly what happened to their son at daycare. Tell me about the day you found out that you were pregnant with your second child. The following day, Adrian regained consciousness. His breathing tube was removed but he still suffered from temporary blindness. Police questioned Holly Downs, but social workers directed their investigation at his parents. Hi, my name is Sharon Tay. I'm with Hi. KCAL KCBS. How Hi. are you? Good. Are you Miss Downs? Yes. We recently visited Holly Downs at her home, where she says she no longer runs a daycare. I didn't do anything. The parents were at fault for what they did, and no. What do you think the parents did? They abused the child. You think so? What happened that day? Would you just run that through me? By no, me? no, I won't. It's none of your business. This is between the courts, and that's that. Adrian's parents are appealing the case. CSUN's attorney says the school can't comment on pending litigation, but he told CBS 2 News the school denies all allegations and there is no merit to the parents' claims. Adrian is four now. Jacqueline had to quit school to take care of his needs full time. Although you didn't see it, a huge solar flare erupted from the sun today and is streaming radiation towards the Earth. It's expected to arrive early on Saturday. Government forecasters expect minimal impact to communication systems and power grids, but they say it could spark colorful auroras in southern Canada and in the nor northern United States. Well, who'd have thought? 
high temperatures yes. and rain all at the same time here right. in Southern California. <laughs> Evelyn Tapp is here for Jackie Jones. Are we living back east? We're in the south somewhere? Yeah, right.